So if you have been coding with AI for any length of time, you start a conversation feeling super optimistic. The AI nails the setup perfectly. Everything feels smooth and clean. But then somewhere around message 15 or 20, things start falling apart. The AI forgets you are using React. It suggests a package you installed like 10 messages ago. It completely loses track of your project structure. And you sit there thinking, why does this always happen? Now here is the thing. There are frameworks that try to fix this. You have probably heard of BMAD, which uses special AI agents for different roles like architect and developer. Or spec it from GitHub that turns specification into executable code. There are all built around something called context engineering. Basically, instead of just throwing prompt at an AI and hoping for the best, you create structured documents. You give the AI everything that need to actually understand your project. But Google dropped their own version completely free through Gemini CLA. It's called Conductor. So what makes Conductor different? Well, instead of treating code like a conversation that the AI forget in an hour, Conductor forces you to establish context first. It creates markdown files that live right in your repo. Files like product.md that define what you are building. Techstack.md that specify your tools. Workflow.md that sets your development process. These files persist. They don't disappear when your chat windows closes. The AI references them for every single task. And this is huge for teams too. Whenever your team pulls down the repo, the AI agent sees the exact same context as well. You are literally sharing the AI brain across your entire team. No more repeating yourself. No more pasting your package file into chat every single time. Alright, so let me show you how to actually use this. First thing first, we need to install Gemini CLI. Open your terminal and install Gemini CLI globally using this npm command. This installs the Gemini command line tool globally on your system. Now once that finishes, you need to authenticate with your Google account. Type Gemini auth login and follow the prompt. It will open a browser window, sign in with your Google account, authorize access and you are done. This lets you use Gemini models completely free through their API. Next up. We install the conductor extension. Type Gemini extension install and then paste the GitHub URL. Add dash dash auto update at the end so it updates automatically when new version comes out. Hit enter, give it a few seconds to download and install. Alright, now we are ready to build something. Let me create a new folder for our project. I will call it chat app demo. Navigate into that folder. Now here is where conductor shines. Instead of just starting to code, we are going to set up context first. Type slash conductor colon setup. Watch what happens. Conductor does not just start generating code. It will ask you question like a senior engineer joining your team. First question, is this a new project or existing? We are starting fresh, so type new. Next, it will ask what are we building? Now you could type your own description, but conductor gave you some helpful example. Let's say we are building a real time chat application with react. So it should have message history and typing indicators and other stuff. Something like that. Type it out and hit enter. Now conductor is creating your product.md file. This is the source of truth for what your app does. It lists out the core features, message sending, real time updates and other useful features. All documented clearly, it asks if you want to make changes. If it looks good, type approved. Next up is the text tag. Conductor asks what framework and tool you want to use. Let's say React with TypeScript, White for the build tool and Tailwind for styling. Conductor generate text tag.md. This file tells the AI exactly what technologies to use. It knows we want functional component with hooks. It knows we are using Tailwind for CSS. Everything is explicit. Then it asks about your workflow. Do you want test drive and development? What's your common strategy? For this demo, let's keep it simple. We will save, write code first and commit after each feature works. Conductor save this to workflow.md. Alright, so now we have three markdown files sitting in a conductor folder in our project. These are permanent. They don't disappear. Every time we ask conductor to build something, it read these files first. Now let's actually build our chat app. Type slash conductor colon new track. This create what conductor calls a track. Think of it like a feature branch or a Jira ticket. It's a specific unit of work. Conductor asks what this track is about. Let's say scaffold the basic chat interface. Create a message input component, a message list component and a chat container that hold them together. Use Tailwind for styling and make it mobile responsive. 
Now here is the magic. Conductor does not just start coding. It create a spec.md file that breaks down exactly what need to be built. It lists the requirements. Message list need to display messages with timestamp. Chat container need to lay out these components properly. Then it create a plan.md file. This is a step by step action list. Phase 1 set up the project structure. Phase 2 build the message input component. Phase 3 build the message list. Phase 4 wire everything together. Each phase has specific task and subtask. And here is the crucial part. Conductor shows you this plan before writing any code. You get to review it. If something's wrong, if it misunderstood your requirement, you catch it now, not after it generates hundreds of lines of code. This is the power of spec driven development. Let's say the plan looks good, type approved. Now run slash conductor colon implement. This is where the A start coding. It checks the text tag file to make sure it's following your rules. Then it start executing. Conductor creates the project structure. Then it builds the message input component, a simple text field and button style with tailwind. Clean code, good variable name, exactly what the spec called for. Next, it builds the message list component. Maps over an array of messages and display each one with a timestamp. Proper React pattern uses keys for list items, everything you would expect from a good developer. Then it creates the chat container, import both component, set up state management for messages, handle sending new messages and update the list, wire everything together. At the end of each phase, conductor pauses, it asks you to manually verify that everything works. You are not just trusting the AI blindly. You test the functionality and you verify that everything works fine. If something is broken, you can tell conductor and it will fix it. If everything works, you approve and it moves to the next phase. Once all phases are complete, conductor updates the track.md file. This is a log of all your features. What's in progress, what's done, what's been reverted. It's perfect memory that persists across sessions. Now here is something really cool. Let's say we want to add another feature. Type slash conductor call a new track again. This time let's add dark mood support. We want a toggle button that switches between light and dark theme and persist the preferences in local storage. Conductor create a new track folder, generate a new spec and plan, but this time it references the existing code base. It knows about the component we already built. It knows we are using Tailwind which has dark mode built in. The plan it generates is contextually aware. It's not starting from zero, it's building on top of what already exists. You approve the plan, run implement, conductor adds the dark mode functionality. Update the existing component to support theme switching, all while maintaining consistency with the code it wrote earlier. And here is the best part. Everything is documented. It can also undo entire tracks. Specific phases are individual tasks. It's smart about it too. It analyzes the commit history and reverts logical units of work, not just random commits. Now let's talk about bigger picture. Conductor consume more token than just chatting with an AI because it read all those context files every single time. You can check usage with slash status model. But here is the thing. The increased token usage is absolutely worth it. You are getting dramatically higher quality code. You are not wasting time fixing bugs. The A get it right the first time because it actually understood your project. One more thing I want to show you. This works amazing with existing project too. Most of your work as a developer is not greenfield apps. It's adding to existing code bases. Conductor handles this beautifully. When you run setup on an existing project, it analyzes what's there. It creates documentation about the current architecture. Then when you add features, it maintains consistency with existing patterns. So to wrap this up, conductor is free, installation take 5 minutes, the workflow is structured, but the structure is what makes it powerful. You establish context once, then every feature you build has that context backed in. The AI does not forget, it does not hallucinate, it follows your rules because those rules are already documented. If you have been frustrated with AI tools that lose track of your project, Conductor fixes that. If you work on a team and need consistency, Conductor handles that. If you are building anything more complex than a single file script, Conductor will save your time and headaches. Alright, so that's it from the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.